So I think I finally have all the tree work done on my property. I think in a, earlier I said, you know, that I was gonna have somebody come and get the top part about the, I had to rent a lift for 1500 bucks or, or they were gonna do it. So they got that. I've got all of the limbs cleaned up. And so now I'm just gonna take you for a quick trip down the, uh, down the driveway here. is going to be right up there in that little corner of the property right there I don't know you can see that little bush that's basically the corner marker and then it runs east to west right there and then there's another bunch of property back that way that doesn't belong to us but we're gonna put ours up here and then you can see all this this will kind of be our little private oasis up here surrounded by trees can't see the road people won't be able to see our house maybe in the fall they could when all the tree uh when all the leaves are off the trees but i got my neighbor coming to look see if he can get, he's gonna get his dozer up here and push all this into a pile for me and burn it uh that's my little deer blind right there but yeah this is it i think all the tree work is done everything you see here i dropped with a chainsaw cut up and moved it with this 3 Series John Deere tractor. A lot of people underestimate what those little tractors can do, but uh, they're not really made for this, obviously, but if it's all you got, you can definitely get some shit done with it. You get a lot of work done. So again, 30 feet wide, ground the sky. That's what I got to get through here. Kind of in here, in this area, it is <clears throat> probably closer to 40 or 50. And then we got the little bend in the driveway that's going to be here, but which is kind of nice. It kind of gives a little privacy so you don't just have a straight shot where people can see from the road. Because out past my truck back there is the main county road, but yeah, you can see. You can drive up here now. So I started getting some dump truck loads here last weekend. It started raining on me. Um, so I couldn't do it, but got five loads, which it doesn't go very far when you're trying to get all this. You know, I need at least like 20 boxes of dirt, maybe more. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to try again for another Saturday. Not this Saturday, but uh, next weekend, I think. So.
So I haven't been filming a lot lately just because I'm trying to get stuff done. Uh, but figured I'd give everyone an update. We had some rain. The video at the very beginning of this video is uh, a couple inches of rain fell last night. And so this is kind of where we're at. But So all that work coming through the tree line and then bringing all this gravel in. Obviously, you can see where it's thin in spots. Uh, I still got to add some, but I just wanted to get something on the ground so you don't get stuck in the grass or the mud when it's wet. The mud here in Texas is pretty rough. It just fills in all your tire tread, and then you got a bunch of racing slicks on there. So even a little bit of gravel like this right here gives you enough traction to keep moving. But... You can see we got power in. There's a well house and the well head right there. Uh, power to a meter rack where my kids are at over there. And then the house is gonna be right over there. So it's coming along slowly but surely. It's a little greener, but I'll take a walk down here. It's kind of getting dark. So hopefully this video turns out okay. I was up here today working a lot. And then we just came out, take the kids out, let them run amok. Poodle Pop, what are you doing? There's Pluto. You can see I got some ponding issues on the sides that I still got to take care of. All this rock you see here, most of it. I brought in myself. I've had uh, a couple of guys bring in uh, one or two loads just because I didn't have time and I had to get some rock down for drill rigs and stuff coming in. But like all this three by five right here, I brought in all this inch and a half right here. I brought in with my dump trailer. I don't know how many tons of rock and dirt I've brought in. Uh, many 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 trips so you can kind of see here still a work in progress uh, but it's changed quite a bit from the earlier videos I kind of forget because it's been so long and I don't post very often but going back and looking at videos it's crazy to see the transformation here so I put uh, I put this cultivar in. This is like a 24 inch that I put to catch all the drainage coming from here. I dug all this out. There's, like I said, there's a wash right through here. And all of this, you just kind of get little finger trails of drainage. And then that that uh, culvert's a 36 inch culvert. You could see earlier in the videos, I had a black poly pipe. Uh, it was 48 inch, but it was too narrow. So I ripped it out, put the... 36 inch because I couldn't find any poly or galvanized bigger than 36 so I put a 36 by 30 feet wide I think um, needed a wider one for you know drill rigs concrete trucks all that uh, drill rigs been here he didn't have any issues so far uh, we'll see what the concrete trucks do but um, anyways still a work in progress see if I can get this to focus or not but Still got to clean up all my mess from the trees. Got some bees here. I got four hives right here. I was feeding them. That's what the orange bucket is. Uh, I got four more hives down on the other end. It's all part of my egg exemption. Keep this in egg. And then once I get a fence up, I'm going to get some cows. Just for, uh, you know personal consumption and maybe family members and stuff like that but let's take a walk down here before it gets too dark so i put down this base it's having a problem there for a while that uh some of that dirt i brought in it's all clay around here so uh they got red clay and then they got dark clay you can see the dark clay here it's not very good material for building roads well, I don't think any clay is, but 
uh, they use it here so but once i put the three by five on the top and then capped over it with the inch and a half it seems to be holding up quite a bit better so i'm just gonna keep keep adding over the years see what happens this was my gate i got looky loos coming in down the driveway occasionally so i put those over the road to keep people out but you can see all this here so that video at the beginning was from earlier today and now you can kind of see see the difference my neighbor's property over there big wash comes through here you can see right there it'll trickle like this for you know a day or two and then it dries up and there's nothing here at all so anyways thought i'd give an update I'm gonna start building here soon hopefully hopefully in may but i don't know we'll see what happens there's that looking back turtles and snakes are out Turtles are cool, I don't like the snakes. Copperheads around here. Anyways.